It has been said that the samurai sword was his soul. Perhaps this deep attachment had something to do with the perfect melding of form and function found in the katana, as the famous curved sword is known in Japan. In, in Japan, invented a millennium ago, the katana remains a marvel of aesthetic beauty and skillful engineering. The smiths who created the katana for the samurai are widely regarded as the as the finest sword makers in history. One of the biggest problems in making the sword is keeping it sharp. A weapon made with a hard metal will keep its edge, but will be brittle and prone to breaking. Japanese smiths solved this problem by making the core of the sword with soft metal that wouldn't break. This core was then covered with layers of harder metals that were repeatedly folded and hammered until there were literally millions of layers of metal laminated together. The katana is widely recognized as an icon of, Jap icon of Japanese pride and history. That picture uh, is a picture of uh, the swordsmith yeah. um, meditating okay. or practicing. Yeah. What's this? That is a image of a sword in a a samurai sword in a museum. What's happening in this picture? The samurai sword um, is being placed in water, and then. And from becoming straight, it curves. This is, uh, these are images of um, the folding and hammering of the metal. Um, this is the sharpening stage where um, the swordsmith sharpens the katana. Um, I think it took 10 days. It took 10 days to sharpen it. Okay, let's find that picture. Hold on. Keep going. Uh, this is a picture of... This is a picture sword of the sword holding. Can we only find the holding? What is this here? That is... um. Once the, uh, no, that is the flexible and the hard metal. The flexible metal is being placed into the hard metal like, um, like a hot dog. That, that'll bend and this will stay sharp. 